What's going on, Z Nation, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns uh, some uh, reports uh, as of late. Uh, but before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as of um, right now, uh, you know, it is the all star break. Uh, obviously, um, it's my favorite time of the year, uh, like always, uh, seeing the All-Stars, uh, you know, just playing against each other with the best of them all and just uh, seeing how uh, they just play well together. But you know, on a personal note, guys, uh, even though I love the All-Star, um, you know, the All-Star uh, games, but there's sometimes I say to myself, you know, it's not the same like it used to be, you know. Uh, I remembered, you know, there was the times where, you know, there was the All-Star and obviously the players there, they just uh, go out there and play their best basketball that they can. And obviously it's just one of those type of uh, moments that you just witness as a fan. Like, you know, you see them all like, you know, the the Kobe Bryant's and the, the Shaq's and, uh, you know, even LeBron James and, you know, even Allen Iverson at times. I mean, I was uh, a huge uh you know fan of the all-star break and you know seeing them play against each other because it was so competitive and there were sometimes moments in games where you just say you know they're like an oh my god moment that this really happened but obviously these past two years uh you know it has been really the same as of these past couple of years and uh obviously i'm not disappointed i mean i enjoy a couple of times you know if there's some moments in the all-star that really uh surprises me but you know uh, obviously, it's just uh, it's just really great to see you know our our players uh, in the All Star uh, break. You know, uh, with Kobe, uh, sorry, uh, with uh, LeBron James being in an All Star, he's the captain of the team, and you know he picked some great selections this year. And uh, obviously, you know, from our young core, from Kyle Kuzma, who is playing in the uh, Rising Star, uh, I hope he just balls out out there and just you know wins the the MVP of that game and uh, I guarantee you I think that's his possibly his main goal to do and I hope he does it so uh, Kyle Kuzma as well and uh, even though Lonzo uh, he is selected into the uh, the uh, the rising star but unfortunately his injury uh, is you know not um, letting him play in the rising star game so uh, obviously for you know because of his ankle injury but uh it is what it is he is going to participate there and uh uh obviously good, uh shows the support for uh you know team lebron and also for uh kyle kuzma who's playing in the rising star so i just hope uh, both of our players you know come out at this on on some really good success after this um this all-star uh is 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 done so uh just rooting for them but let's get into the uh the los angeles lakers and a couple of reports that i just want to keep you guys up to date on because as you know the all-star is you know preventing you know lakers and you know the rest of the nba team for playing because obviously it's the all-star so and plus the lakers are not going to play a game until thursday against the um the 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 Houston Rockets so it's going to be a long week without uh Lakers basketball so it is what it is and obviously you know I just hope that the Lakers and you know uh, LeBron and the veterans you know of our of our Lakers team just continuing to show some progress and maybe uh, turn things around after this all-star break so uh, let's just hope for that but uh, the main uh the main reporting that I just want to, you know, keep you guys up to date on, it is, uh, you know, as of right now, uh, today, uh, you know, with the whole firing of Dell Demps, uh, there has been some speculations out there that the Los Angeles Lakers and the Pelicans might revisit a potential trade with the uh, with Anthony Davis uh, to potentially make a deal to send Anthony Davis to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I'm just these are just rumors. I don't think they're going to be true, uh, obviously, because, you know, the main reason that there was no trade that went down at the trade deadline uh, between the Lakers and the Pelicans was because of Dell Dems. And I have to say, Dell Dems deserves that his firing. I mean, obviously, for many reasons. I, I just don't want to say because he got fired because, you know, he didn't go through with... Um, trading Anthony Davis to the Lakers and obviously 
Hey, you know, he, he just played the Lakers, and I just felt that this is just karma coming to him. But obviously, for many reasons, I mean, for nine seasons with the uh, Pelicans, the only time that there was some success in that organization there in his time there was in just three playoff, maybe two or three playoff appearances. That's only the main success that uh, Dell Demps ever did. And, you know, even though he drafted some good players uh, who are playing very well uh, in this um in this league, you know, with uh, Buddy uh, Heald and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Noah, you know, with the Thunder and, you know, the rest of the players, you know, they are doing good for themselves, but at the same time, you know, they just never lived up to their potential in um, with the Pelicans. So, uh, obviously, it is what it is. I'm not so, like, uh, I don't feel no sympathy for Dale Dems because, you know, what he did to the Lakers was just really dirty and I just felt that this is just karma coming to him. But obviously, there could be many reasons why, because of he got fired, uh, the, the, the reason that he got fired. But, you know, me personally, I think it's because of the whole, uh, you know, Anthony Davis trade. And obviously, you know, it, he didn't make it... Uh, he didn't make it happen. And obviously, uh, it led to his firing. But the main reason why I, I bring this up is because, like I said, uh, the Pelicans might revisit with the Lakers in the summer, if possibly, if this either going to happen whatsoever, I don't think it is, but uh, it could potentially happen. They could revisit uh, the potential trade uh, for uh, Anthony Davis to the Los Angeles Lakers. They might revisit with the Lakers, but all signs are showing that they could potentially uh, talk with the Celtics, but, you know, anything could happen uh, over the summer if somehow the uh, the new GM of the uh, Pelicans might want to, you know, speak with the Los Angeles Lakers if they want to make a trade but obviously um, it still remains to be seen and you know guys I just uh, want to bring that situation and keep you guys uh, I don't know it, it's not really uh, like an update I don't think it's true it's just uh, my own theory my thoughts about it and uh, it could potentially happen they could potentially contact the Los Angeles Lakers over the summer if, the, if nothing goes down with the Celtics they could potentially call them up and say hey uh are you guys willing to, you know, know, you know, like trade some of your young core and a couple of uh, uh, draft picks for Anthony Davis? I mean, it could potentially happen, but I don't think it will. But uh, it, it might happen with the new, uh, the new GM of the Pelicans if it does happen. But um, I, I'm not sure if it is going to happen. I think the Lakers might just wait on uh, Anthony Davis in 2020 free agency if uh, he doesn't commit with a certain team over the summer or if he just sticks it out for another season with the Pelicans and he just might, you know, he just might be uh, in the free agent market and potentially land with the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, still remains to be seen. So uh, that's my own thoughts about it. And guys, I also want to bring you guys up to date about uh, the, um, you know, the potential free agents that are in the, uh, the market right now. Uh, you know, there has been a couple of players who signed to particular teams like Cantor with the, uh, with the, with the the Portland Trailblazers, uh, he signed with them, I believe, two days ago, and also with Markeith uh, Markeith Morrison, uh, he signed with the uh, the Thunder. So those were the type of top players that the Lakers were looking at. But obviously, they I don't know they didn't commit to them. I guess I'm not sure what went wrong or what went down. But obviously, there has been a couple of rumors that you know Carmelo Anthony might join the Los Angeles Lakers. I think it might potentially happen. But it still remains to be seen, and or there might be a player that the Lakers are looking at that uh, that I don't even know who they're looking at for them to sign, who could potentially help the Lakers potentially like you know win more games and just help them uh, reach the playoffs. But uh, um, you know that's my own uh, personal thoughts about the updates so far. But I I truly believe that the Lakers they might sign Carmelo Anthony. And guys, please. Uh, you know, I honestly think that Camelo Anthony, if he's in a different situation, if he's in like, you know, the glamour, in glamour place in you know in L.A. and joining with the you know his best friend LeBron James and you know with the Lakers, and I just truly really believe that you know if he does that, he will definitely change his career around and potentially, I don't know, become like a decent player who will help LeBron and the Lakers reach the playoffs, and I just. Uh, and that type of player that believes uh, in giving 
uh, players a chance to prove themselves. And I really think that Kamel Anthony is that guy. And if somehow a, tra- a, a signing does happen, I think Kamel Anthony is that is that player that the Lakers might consider signing because you know the roster stop the roster uh, spot is still open and obviously they might uh, look at potec- potential players who are still on the free agent market but um, you know it still remains to be seen I don't really think that uh, I can't really think of any players off the top of my head other than Carmelo Anthony who's still available and uh, I think it might potentially happen but uh, it still remains to be seen but guys please comment down below give me your thoughts about uh you know the type of updates I brought to you guys uh, you know I personally you know think that you know you know with the whole uh, Dell Demps uh, firing uh, the Pelicans might revisit with the Los Angeles Lakers for a potential trade over the summer but I I'm just saying this as a rumor I don't think it's going to happen so don't take my word for it and I don't really think it is going to happen I don't really think so so uh, I don't want to say that it, it might happen or anything like that I'm just putting it out there that with a new GM that potentially will be inserted in the um, in the organization of the Pelicans might changes the type of uh, mentality that the Pelicans are looking at and they might contact the Los Angeles Lakers about it. So, um, you know, it's just uh, I want to give you guys, you know, that sort of uh, idea of how I'm thinking about, you know, this whole Anthony Davis trade rumors with the Pelicans and the Lakers. It would this potentially revisit um over the summer. I mean it's, it's, it could potentially happen, but I don't really think it will. So uh I'm just putting things out there. And plus with the whole uh, free agent market that's still available right now, um who's the player that the Lakers are looking at that they might sign? I mean I think it is Camelo Anthony but if there's another player that they're looking at that could potentially change things for the Lakers, uh, please, guys, comment that down below. And give me your thoughts about it. I mean, I really think Camelo Anthony is that player that the Lakers might consider and could potentially take a chance on. And I really think that is. And if he if he doesn't live up to that his potential and uh, you know that player that you know that he once was, that I can basically say that he might retire. At the end of this season, and um, and I think it's the best thing for him, and if it does, if that does happen, because you know, obviously, he mentioned that he's going to retire, but I don't think it's official. I mean, he wants to prove himself, and I can honestly say he can, if he is in, in LA and joining the Los Angeles Lakers with his best friend LeBron James, and I think it could potentially happen. And you know, it's not so much uh, an issue of just signing him. I mean. Uh, I think you just you just sign into an, a, a veteran minimum uh, contract, so um, I think it potentially can happen. So uh, that's my thoughts, guys. So please comment down below, give me your thoughts, and guys, also give me your thoughts. Who's going to be the the All Star MVP of Sunday and potentially in the Rising Star? I mean, I really think it is going to be um, Kyle Kuzma because you know he has been shown throughout the season that he can average 20 points a game and could really dominate a game so I think Kyle Kuzma is is going to be that guy and I think he's going to prove himself in the Rising Star so I just can't wait for that and also uh, with the teams of the All-Stars I really think that the choices that LeBron James made will help him (coughs) excuse me Uh, I, I really think it will help him uh, potentially win against uh, the team uh, Giannis. So uh, I really think that it might happen, and I think that he's going to be the MVP of that, uh, uh, the All Star MVP of that game. So um, that's my own thoughts. And I, I, I'm not trying to say it because I'm a Laker fan that it will happen. I just think that, you know, with the type of piece around him, maybe it might happen. So um, it still remains to be seen. So, guys, please uh, comment down below, like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.